Google's Chrome OS has always interested me because of what the OS itself is based around off the Chrome web browser. But what's the easiest way to install on a regular everyday PC? Until now, I've, I couldn't find a way and I've only been able to try at electronic stores where they sell but they by playing around with them on, on a display. So yeah, but, but Cloudware by Neverware makes this process way more easier as it by an easy download and using the official Chromebook recovery utility app on Google Chrome. In this video, we're going to test out the OS by using a low-end computer from 2009, which, which runs an Intel Atom 230 processor. And we will see if Chrome OS can breathe new life into this old PC. Let's find out. First of all, let me talk about how easy installation was. It was really simple from the Chromebook recovery utility on Google Chrome itself. And when I actually went into the OS itself, it was just a few clicks and it was already installing. And I was done. Of course, I would prefer if they had actual partitioning settings, because since they do have an option for multi-boot, but what if you want um, Chrome OS to be like 6 gigs or your, and your existing OS to be like 200 gigs? You can't do that, it has to be whatever they choose for you, because I think they just split the hard drive in half and all that. But, you know what, I understand why they um, don't do that, because Chrome OS is meant for everyday people people who just want a simple operating system experience without without stressing out if they accidentally erase their Windows partition. I'm sure if they say I'll do single boot, um, they will lose it, but I, I bet they'll be aware of that. If, because single boot, dual boot, yeah, it should say because it says it there. And they don't want to be fiddling around with partitions and all that, and that's when they were succeeding in with the installation process. They make the OS friendly for everyone, not just for IT people. Alright, so now let's test Chrome OS on this into Atom machine. First, let's see the boot up time. So, here we've got... Stopwatch. So, let's test it out in 3, 2, 1, go. This computer is running a 7200 RPM 160GB drive, attached drive, so it should be pretty fast. Well, not really, I don't know. <laughs> Just until it gets up to the login screen. It's taken about a minute to get to the login screen. Well, it's, it's not too crazy, but it's faster than some systems who have like too much bloatware and um, you know, if, if the rest has been used for years and years to come. Just go to a reader guest account because that's pretty much stock. That's pretty much a stock account. And everything. As you can see, Chrome pings up instantly because, you know, this is Chrome OS, what do you expect? But, how fast, how fast is it to load up Chrome? As you can see, it's pretty much interesting. But the built-in file browser, since Chrome has the file browser built in if you, like, plug on a USB drive, which I think is really neat. A file browser, and it takes, and it's pretty much instant. That's what I like about Chrome OS. It's instant because it's very lightweight. Alright. What about website browsing speed? How about like just regular on the go websites? So first, let's test out like heavyweight sites like like CNN. So here CNN can be a challenge to load because of how far, how slow it is. Well how, no no how slow, how heavily the site is. Oh dear, Trump, oh god. Thank god 
I don't do your things. As you can see, it's pretty laggy because of how bloated the CNN site is. But it's loaded, which is good. How about some lightweight? How about um, Google? This should be pretty fast. As you can see, bam, pick Google. Look how it is. What about how fast your YouTube videos are? Just out 360p video, we'll just use one of mine. With 360, 480, and 720. And there are no speakers hooked up, so yeah. That's where my last video to Hackintosh tour. I need to change thumbnails. get pretty unresponsive sometimes but I think it's to do with the um, Hackintosh I mean not Hackintosh with the with um, how slow some computers are you can see whatever resolution this is it's playing right it's 360 it's playing smooth smoothly as you can see, let's try 480p. Let's try 480p. As you can see, it's getting a little bit laggier with 480 about 720p. As you can see, it's going to buffer if you have, they have decent internet, it should work. It's playing some Johnny, but it's really lagging at it. But I don't think anyone cares how it plays anyway, so... Not the resolution anyway. So yeah. Overall, I like Netflix Cloud or anything. It's good OS, great for um people just want to check your emails and browse Facebook and CNN. I'd, it's very decent OS, just for simple people. Alright, now, how fast does Chrome OS shut down? Let's see. So, let's shut the computer down. Oh, um, I'd say about five seconds. What started my time? I was about to, and then it just shut down instantly. That's how fast Chrome shut down. Shuts down. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you do want more videos, please you can consider subscribing to this channel. I'll see you guys next week. Hey, run! In this video, we're just gonna be taking a tour of my Hackintosh.